so the weather got a little bit iffy offshore cap sort of feels bad and i looked at him i'm like i don't understand why you feel bad that was the most epic day of tuna fishing i've ever seen in my life but check out this view on the way in he brought us in here to look at this crazy rock formation right here bird life all up there there's actually some big trees if there was turkeys around here they would definitely roost up there in the top the water's a little bit darker colored than it was yesterday when we were spearfishing but we were also another 30 miles offshore i'm thinking about if i can get up here near the rocks and see if it's clear enough adam and i are going to jump in it's going down yeah i just say let's just go ahead and do it let's do it now what are let's we do it why are we talking about let's do it, it? let's be doers let's do it be i can see that on that rock right there it's not too dirty i'm definitely getting in but look at this one thing captain shane will do is he'll bring you around here especially if you have your wife and kids and he'll show you all this he's not a captain that's just going to want to catch fish and be done he'll take you sightseeing on the way in do all kinds of fun stuff let's just show him what we caught deep dropping today caught a nice snowy caught this crazy looking whatever this is a ray. A ray. who's prettier y'all this fish or crystal beachy here let's get a side by side comparison <laughs> they're both in camo nice snowy probably only about eight pounds but if you're just needing something for dinner that's a beautiful one check out that cave i think adam and i are going to swim over there and climb up there do some mountain climbing i was going to say she can rock climb we can dive if we get all the way up there one of us will do probably a 10 plus cannonball just do a gainer off of it what yep. do you guys think I comment think... down below if gabe should do a gainer out of that cave i did that one time in wyoming and i got a concussion yeah we're not doing that today How deep are we right here, Cap? 26 feet. Oh, we're definitely. Can we get in the water for five minutes? Sure, why not? Babe, you getting in? Um, I'll let y'all check it out. <laughs> yeah, the water's warm. Or no, what is it? Uh, get on in, the water's fine. So the problem is, is yesterday, Captain Shane put us on another epic day of tuna fishing and we saw some big sharks. And now Beachy's like, y'all, I'm out. Biggins. Boys are getting suited up. Don't pee your pants. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. That's what Beachy says when she gets rained on. Well, about to get in the water, make it sissy. I don't like these sharks around here. Listen, we're gonna go straight to the rock in oh, case the shark rock. comes. Here, it's yours. Always cock your weapon before you get in, in case you got to shoot one in the throat. Fish number 
one and he's coming back up with it right now. Let's see what he's got. We got a fully graphic. Good lord! That is huge! <laughs> I can't get that tip out. He's, Adam got one too. Look at him. Adam, what'd you get? A digger! <laughs> so, Gabe and Adam broke away to go clean that parrotfish that uh, Gabe shot. So, we did this little walk here, Shane, Alex, and I, to check out their water system. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. This is one of our brand new wells. We haven't started pumping from it yet, but we just finished this like a week ago. And you can see, I mean, it's full with water, but because of all the <laughs> recent rain we've had, it's, it's super cloudy. So we haven't started pulling from it yet just because we, we wanna wait for all the sediment to settle and then we'll clean it and then we'll start pumping from it probably in a couple weeks. Nice. That's pretty well made. You have some good little mechanics and engineers around here. That's awesome. <laughs> we had Alex's team of guys come in here and you killed it, Alex. And they, and they, they rocked that off. That was good in there. How deep is the that? It goes down about 15, 16 feet. Dang. Yeah. How long did that take the guys to make? It took about a week. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, you look fast. It took, it, took a, it took about another week to dig the well, to dig the <laughs> hole, and then about another week to to seal it off inside there. Nice. And then and then form this out up on nice. top. Nice. It yeah. looks good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me y'all have seen a prettier fish than that. His mouth. He's got these rock hard beak and that's from biting chunks of rock like this. He'll come in and there'll be barnacles on it and he'll just take huge bites. And this is actually how sand is made. They'll eat the, the coral and the chunks of rock. It goes through their system and they poop it out and it turns into sand and that's how most coral reef beach sands exist. That's where they come from. He's got this big old gelatinous lump on his head. I take it this is a male. I'm pretty sure it is. Most females don't have that lump. And most male species have a lump like that, like peacock bass and certain other ones. I'm gonna take my Danko three-piece knife set that's missing the nine inch because it's out there on the boat. Today it's a little rough. We've been offshore all day and the boats are way over there about a quarter mile behind that island out of the weather. Once the weather breaks, they'll come right back here and moor up. I'm gonna show you how to clean this fish. Look at these ginormous scales though. Let me see if I can get one off. I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, pick that up show them in your hand how big it is. Let's give it a rinse real quick. That thing is huge. You can make earrings out of that. So we're gonna take it and clean it. Think. Does it look pretty? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna clean it just like we would any other fish. This knife that I'm using right now, if you follow along, in a couple videos ago, I cleaned three different trigger fish with it. And it's still razor sharp. Once I wash this fish off, you're gonna see how amazing it is. Look at that. So me, Alex, and Adam just came into the jungle. Alex knew where a caiman nest was, and we're here looking at it, and I'm about to show it to you. But I was trying to look in this ditch to see if I could see him. Wait till you see what I just about put my foot on. You tell me when you can see it. Dude, tell me that isn't insane. I almost... Put my foot right there on that python or boa or whatever it is. It does not look friendly. And right there is the caiman nest. And he said it was in this ditch right here, this little creek. So I was looking for it and I went to put my foot right there. He is cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Is it poisonous, Alex? Uh, it bites you? Yeah. Is, no, no, is no bueno? No, it's been in. It's bien. Oh, it's bien. I think that's good. I think bien means good. Grab that tail when he comes around. 
Well, I like how you say for me to grab the tail. I don't want to grab the tail. Oh, grande. <laughs> Check this out. A wild python here. <laughs> oh, oh. In, in Panama. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Bro, he's looking at my hand. He's looking at me. Oh, we go. We run. Ooh. I'm going to just catch you, buddy. We're going to be good. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, poppy. Tranquilo. Oh, he is not happy. Tranquilo, poppy. I got you. <gasps> Mucho grande? This is a grande, sí. Look at that, he's got a tick right there on the side of him. I wonder what kind this is. Look at that. You huh. guys give me, give me a shout out. I'm scared to death of snakes, but I did that for you guys. When I first saw him, I 100% thought I was about to step on a fertilance. You wanna hold him, Adam? Nope, I'm good. Come on. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go eat sushi now? <laughs> I think it's a good idea. <laughs> so it's the last day of our trip here at the Sportfish Panama Island Lodge. We're gonna cook that parrotfish for lunch, but before we do, we wanna come right out here to this island and see if we can't catch some langustas, some clams, some conch, something to go along with that parrotfish to make it an even more amazing meal. We're on this panga. Here at the lodge, they have little boats and big boats, and if you wanna do something just a little bit different, if you wanna go explore or do a nature hike like we did earlier today, all you gotta do is ask. A captain will jump on a boat, or he'll get on the trail and take you anywhere you want to go at any given time. If you're hungry, they'll fix you food. If you're thirsty, they'll have drinks. So the lodge is right back there about a quarter mile and you have this big cliff right here. We're gonna get in at this point and snorkel all the way back to shore and see what we can't find. There could be sloths hanging over there, or big anteaters. In the water we could have pargos, cabarras, sharks, you name it, it's here. And I think we're going to find some lobster right here on this point. But is my A-team ready? B-team is ready. <laughs> Michael, you ready? Yes. If you yes. notice, Michael, he's from our first several videos when we were offshore, which is 50 miles out of way. The Pacific Ocean's literally right there. We're actually in the Pacific Ocean, but the open water's right out there. So the water's going to be a little bit milky out here. Once we get close to the rocks, it should clear up a little bit. These lobsters aren't like our lobsters in Florida. These live back in the caves, and in Florida, we tickle them out. These, you can't tickle them out. They're gonna shoot back to the back, so we're gonna use Crystal's pole spear and try to gig them, because that's legal here. I just filmed him. There's a lobster right here, look. Well, we're having lobster and parrotfish for dinner tonight, folks at home. Let's go get some more. Out of play. 
I have been a long time without messing any cameras up. GoPro one is dead. The other camera that's right here has been stuck on 115 for like an hour. I don't know how much footage I have underwater, if I have any at all, but just wait till Beachy and Adam swim up here and see what you're gonna see. What y'all got? Le gusta. I like tail. They're double fisting. Adam said, I like tail. Let me see that bad boy. Oh, that it. See, you can tell he's a lobsterman at heart. Hold it over the side of the boat and then show it. Beautiful one. How many times as we were kids did we do that with a lobster and it get overboard and our dad beat us? <laughs> yeah, too many lashings to count, so we don't do that anymore. <laughs> no. This is one beautiful one. I put them out of their misery when we're in the water so they can't kick. But the ones Adam got, he just got, so I didn't have a chance to do it. You like to eat? Yes. Muy buena? Muy buena. Let's go eat lunch. Lobster Alfredo? That's what I'm saying. Possible. No, we gotta eat parrotfish too. Oh yeah, parrotfish. Oh, oh shit, Billy. Oh, Whoa, shit, that's oh, e easy, that's easy, not everybody on one side. <laughs> and down, beach whale. What did you just do, Beachy? It's like number one roll and we just broke it. You got the fire drill, right? You guys, I thought we were going overboard. Can you come home with me? Of course. I'm an American citizen too. You're an American citizen? Yeah. Hey, mucho bueno. He's got some lobster heads here that he's cooking into something like a broth or something, I'm not quite sure. Some of the lobster tails. He's got some peppers right here and onions. How about him cutting them up, not looking at what he was doing? That scared the heck out of me. I said, Edgar, the hospital is far away from here. Oh, he's getting, you're getting fancy like Applebee's on a date night. This is the smoke sauce. Okay. Now I'll cook a little bit more. This you want a little. Sorry about the noises. He's doing his thing and I'm not stopping him. You guys, we have done the impossible. I have gathered most of the guys that work here that help run the ship with Mr. Shane and Mr. Steve. Shane came to this beautiful island in 2001 and he started building what you see now, which would, to me would be a near impossible feat. Like there is nothing here. We're so far from the mainland, but with every good business, it starts with guys that are good helpers. You can't do it on your own, can you? True, nope. I mean, you thought you were at the end of the road, then you met Steve and Steve's the master carpenter. Then you meet all these guys, good captains, Captain Johnny. He's a man of few words. We got our mate, Michael. We got the chef right here, Mr. Edgar. Yes. I said it right? Yes. We got this guy here, what's your name? Oscar. Oscar. So today we wanted to cook y'all a feast. Johnny, you see? I risk my life for you. I catch everything on that plate. Me, Crystal, and Adam. Some of these guys don't speak English. Johnny does a little bit. Michael doesn't at all, right? No, Can you just tell them what I said real quick in Spanish, please? Thank you is what I'm... This is me thanking them for working so hard for us this entire trip. Thank you guys, everybody. Thank you guys. Now you eat. Dig in. Come on. Don't, don't everybody eat at one time. Babe, reach in there and taste one little piece of that parrotfish and let me know what you think. I love it. Did he just deploy you? 
I want Mr. Shane Jarvis to try it. Is it good? Barracuda. I could dance to that. Is it good? Bueno? If it's no good, it's Edgar's fault because he cooked it. What is that? This is, it's two of them? It's, this is good. You'll like it. Alright, parrot fish going down the hat. Going down the hat. Check homeboy's shirt out. I like your shirt. He lives all night. You haven't seen that? The whole trip he's been wearing something fancy every day. You looking good for the ladies, huh? The senoritas? Goro. <laughs> you missed the video. Goro. Gordo missed the video. Gracias. But most importantly, Shane, I think I got a little bit sidetracked talking about why guys like this is so important. I really want them to know how thankful Crystal and Adam and I are. Uh -huh. These guys have made our trip, like, obviously you've made our trip amazing, but you couldn't have done it without these guys. These are the guys behind the scenes making it all happen. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of all of our heart, because I've been on a ton of trips. I've been on a ton of trips all around the world, and to me, this one by far supersedes all the rest. And that says a lot, because I've been on some good ones. Crystal, she's not very been on very many, and she loves everywhere we go, which I'm thankful for that. She's not picky. Adam's been on a few, but what would you say? It's 10 out of 10. Borderline 11. Oh, babe, what do you say? It's been amazing. You can, I don't think we can top it. No. Not at all. If you want a spot to come to, I've said it multiple times in multiple videos, this is where you want to come because this is the spot you want to be. And like Gabe said, it's because of these gentlemen here. They like, do it perfect and they do it well. Well old machine. Everybody here at this table has helped us in some way, shape, or form, and they've done it all with a smile on their face. And what I will say is I got to give Mr. Shane Jarvis credit at Sportfish Panama Island Lodge. Every now and then I got to think about that. That's four words. I got to get Sportfish Panama Island Lodge. He's the first captain ever to take me out and get me to say uncle. Did I not tell you about midday through? Look, we've ca take anymore. We caught enough. Like, bro, my arm crystal was tapped out. Adam maybe had one more in him. I was burning, but I was coming back for more. But I was done. I'm like, I, I can't even like, the older I get, the more I want to mentally take in what we just did. And we were from one tuna to the next as fast as we could go. I'm like, boys, I just want to sit down and think about it for a second. Folks at home, folks at home, we are where this all began. <laughs> if you're following along in this Panama series, this is where we started. It's actually isn't where we started. We started in Stewart, Florida, but this is the first place we fished in the very first video once we got to the island. Here at Sport Fish, Panama Island. Crystal caught her fish that day. Now Adam's up to bat. We don't know what he's got, but he's definitely got a really good fish on, and it's coming up to the surface right now. Big rooster! Big rooster! You gotta make this one. Oh, yeah, buddy. Not to put any pressure on you, Adam, but this is what we came for. Oh, Sweat. man. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thanks, Cap. He's right here. Guys, this is the first time in my life that I've ever been to a lodge and I actually told the captain my arms hurt too bad to catch any more fish. <laughs> this has been such an incredible trip and for us to finish it off with Adam catching his bucket list fish, it's just icing on the cake. Right now. So Crystal's oh, behind the camera good. and I'm filming for Instagram. If you guys follow my Instagram at Blue Gabe, you'll see all kinds of sneak peeks and behind the scenes. I think he's about to come to the surface. Here he is. Yes, there he is. Golly! Oh! Wow! 
What a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. They're all over the place, aren't they? This is heart rate right here. <laughs> Good deal. Good fish. High five on the filming. Thank you. So Adam wants to mount this particular fish and as quick as we can. You notice he's in this bait well. He's pumping fresh water through his gills. He's staying perfectly alive. First mate Michael is going to measure him so we can put him on the wall. I'd say 47 inches. 48. 48, 48 inches. Tip to tip. Huh? Tip to tip. Yeah. Nice. You guys, what an incredible journey it's been coming here to Panama. Crystal's never traveled out of the country other than the Bahamas. Adam's never been here to Panama. I've been talking to this man, Mr. Shane Jarvis, who owns Sportfish Panama Island Lodge for months. He said it was going to be incredible. He completely underestimated just how insanely good this trip. The food, the camaraderie, the people, everything. Would you agree? It's been fantastic. You never see me do intros like this. Normally it's just me, great trip, bye. This trip is worth it. Come here to Panama with this man right here. Let him spoil you like you deserve. I promise you, you'll never regret it. Let's turn this beautiful fish loose. <laughs> wow. Huge shout out to our first mate, Michael, who's just trying to stay out of the way. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. See you, buddy. Woo! Woo! <laughs>